Hi, it's Sally at Fealty Fork. Welcome to the second part of the cereal story, when we'll look at how the crops are growing in the fields. As the crop grows, the farmer needs to keep check of its progress and ensure that it has the nutrients it needs and is disease, weed and pest free to be able to give a good yield. You can see here the unsown tram lines, which are there to allow machines to pass through the crop without damaging them while they are growing. Sometime during May, depending on what kind of spring it's been, the seed head of the winter barley, which was the first of the cereals to be sown in the autumn, will appear. And it's easily recognisable with its two rows of seeds with an arn, a spiky arn, attached to each one. These give the field a yellowy green look and it ripples and waves in the wind. Now at the beginning of July, all the cereal crops grown at the Hersel, the wheat, the barley and the oats, have all now formed their seed heads and can be easily distinguished one from another. Up till now, They've been just leafy and green and so looking a lot like grass, which is what they are. But now, with their seed heads established, we're fast approaching that crucially important time of year for arable farmers, harvest. The winter barley is the first to turn golden as the plants begin to die, because they were the first to set their seed. Can you see on the seed head the two rows of pointed seeds, each with a spiky arn attached. These arns are very rough and sandpapery if you draw your finger back along them, and they're very uncomfortable indeed if they get in your socks. Most tweets have a chunky head made up of four rows of seeds, each well hidden under a leafy layer of husk. They might also have a small arn attached. Wheat is a bluey green colour and not yet started to turn golden. Like barley, the seed head stands upright until it begins to ripen and then it bends over. Oats too are a bluey green but have very distinctive seed heads. They look a bit like trees with fine dangling branches. The seeds are just singly under a pair of petals. And so, by the end of this month, many of our fields of cereals will have turned from green to golden or be in the process of turning. And if the weather is fine and dry, the combines will be out and rolling and harvest will be underway. The barley, the wheat and the oats that have been growing over the last few months will have begun their journey to become our food and drink. Can you spot which cereal crops are growing in the fields near you and which ones are going to be ready for harvest first? You might also then look out for the next part of the cereal story, which is going to be about the harvest, as well as all the activities and resources that can be found on our Field to Fork website.